stream. <sighs> Alrighty, so let me go ahead and <clears throat> dig into the next patron request. So let's see, next patron request. Okay, here it is. Alrighty, time to look for the next request. I'm going to go off of the original list now. So before it was uh, two uh, reward requests, but now it's going to be off of the original really big list. So let's uh, go back to my big original request list from a couple of months ago. And let's see what comes up. It's almost 185 uh, requests. Oof, that's a lot. Oh, here we go. I think uh, this is where I left off at. Let's see what we got. So, human bandit with a crossbow. I did that. Male fairy pixie. I did that. A version of Vorgoth discard. Yes, I did that. Was that big horned dragon model? Let's see. A monk ninja turtle wearing a trench coat did that. Lady of Pain. That was awesome. That was one of my favorite models that I made from that uh that month. Let's see. Can you model my current character? Arismar cleric. Yeah, I did that. Slods in all forms. I already made all the slods. Although they could probably use some updating, but. That would be after something else. Let's see. A kobold armed to the teeth with two swords, a warhammer, a whip, a hand crossbow, and javelins. <laughs> you know what? Yes. That, I am making that. That is what I'm making. Uh, this looks like I have a lot of any viewers. I guess I'll send out a tweet just to let people know. Hey, I'm online. <clears throat> anyway, Twitter, tweet, and, uh, okay, let me get my link, copy, last <clears throat> model of the day, model of the day. Another patron request. Hashtag Patreon. Hashtag D and D. Oh, I got some viewers. Oh, okay. Hello there, folks. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Um, basically, I was just setting out a tweet right now, but uh, about to get started on this sucker. So the model that I'm going to work on right now is going to be uh, a kobold armed to the teeth uh, with two swords, a warhammer a whip, a hand crossbow, and javelins. So this is going to be kind of a funny model, but it should be pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So first things first, um, let's go ahead and open my kobold model, just my regular basic kobold model. Like I'm going to go off of my generic kobold and just work from there. So, let's see here. Let me go to K. Okay. Kobold. Kobold. There we go. And let me go ahead and pick a kobold model. Um, pretty good one. What's a good kobold model? It's got a lot of stuff on it already. Ah, yes, the dragon shield. There you go. Areas. <clears throat> so, by working off of this model alone, I can pretty much 
create exactly what the uh, patron was looking for and then some. So, I'm going to modify this guy um, pretty severely <laughs> and uh, turn him into just this ravaging beast of a model. It's going to be kind of funny. Uh, so, so, he said two swords. Okay, so we're going to start with two swords. So, first things first. This could be used as a javelin, so I'll just leave that there for now. Did he say that the guy has a shield? Cobalt arm to teeth, two swords, no shield. Okay, not a problem. We'll get rid of this guy. And I'm going to save this as... Um, oh, I got more viewers. Hello. Thank you for joining. Uh, anyway, let's see. I'm going to save him as a fighter. So let me go to adventures. Let me go to fighter types. Other fighters and kobold fighter. Kobold weapon master. Yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, <clears throat> by the way, uh, for those of you who are just joining in, um, I'm going to be modeling a kobold weapon master. Uh, I've already made kobolds before, um, including this guy right here. So this isn't going to be too difficult. Um, however, he is going to require some remixing since he's going to be holding a lot of weapons. And it's going to be kind of cool. Anyway, uh, the models, by the way, the, the passion projects that I was just working on before I got in on this, I painted Chippy the Owlbear for Jim Dark Magic, and I painted uh, a Sioux monster uh, from Tomb of Annihilation, which I will post later tonight. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and first fix his hands so he can hold some swords. Now, I'm not going to rig uh, brand new hands for this guy. That would just take forever. So instead, I'm just going to grab some regular already modeled hands and just attach them to them just to save some time. It's kind of necessity to do things like that just to save time because I really don't have the time to re-rig this guy, re-rig the hands. It's just it's stupid. So I'm just going to put new hands on this guy and then go from there. He's already got some armor on him, so that's kind of nice. Alrighty. This guy's hands are already really big. Well, they have to be because of the... Um, if this guy was to be printed in FDM, it would need to be a certain size. Uh, so yeah, that's actually pretty good. Okay, so let me go ahead and just delete this right here. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Thanks for uh, joining me on my little, little adventure. <clears throat> as I try to model as much as I can with the time that I have. But yeah, so I painted a Sioux monster just now, and uh, it was a nice little model. Sioux monster is this really horrid um, monkey monster from uh, Tomb of Annihilation. They're really gross. <laughs> oh, look at this mess. Man, this is an older model, so it's got a lot of unnecessary geometry and such and so forth, so it's not going to be pretty, but I will make do. It's probably going to take a couple iterations of uh, deletion just to do this right. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It's fine. I'm here for a challenge, and that is just a way. But yeah, thanks for joining me in my little uh, modeling uh, event. This is going to be probably the first of many. Um, as I heard in the news today, that the government shutdown probably is going to continue for a little while longer. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, patron requests when I can. So... This uh, model, though, I don't think it's going to take too long. I think this one's going to take maybe a half hour, and then I'm going to work on a different patron request, and that'll be it. That'd be my, my 9 to 5 uh, event today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm going to make do with what I got. Alright, so that's pretty good right there. And yeah, let me get rid of this. 
this weird hand. This is an older model, so the hands are a little bizarre. But I'm here for a challenge sometimes. Sometimes. Not gonna make a brand new kobold from scratch. That would be silly. I've got a decent amount of kobold requests over the years. But, uh, Bola's Guide to Monsters did a pretty good job of, uh, giving players all kinds of kobold options. So, I'm pretty satisfied with how that turned out. Ah, let's see here. I have so many kobolds in my collection right now. are always set for new adventures. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, I'm getting more viewers. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Uh, for those of you who are signing on right now, I'm working on a kobold weapon master. And uh, it's not going to be a very difficult model because I've already modeled uh, kobold fighter type. So it's just a little bit of remixing. So I'm putting some new hands on the guy since the hands were a little, little dated. But also I'm going to be uh, adding the weapons and going from there. So it should be fun. As you can see, he already has some hodgepodge armor on him. So, you know. Shouldn't be too difficult to pull off. Anyway. <clears throat> so. Let's see here. Alt J. And as usual, if anybody has any questions about 3D modeling, 3D printing, D&D &D in general, just uh, go ahead and send your questions away. I'm always here for a good chat and uh, just enjoy your company and your time. If uh, any of my patrons are watching right now, uh, thank you very, very much for your support and generosity. Um, you guys have been really, really just wonderful, uh, especially during my whole shutdown ordeal. And uh, it's just been a lot of great support. Uh, I love the amount of just warm wishes and yeah, it's just been very wholesome support so it's a really great community that I have uh, that I got going on there so you guys are great okay so got some hodgepodge armor on this guy do some refining first it's so like these gloves for instance like they don't look very tight it could be a lot tighter i think so let me just put a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, definition right there put a little bit of definition right here This needs to be just given a little more definition too. So let's go ahead and put some there. Put some there. Okay, so it looks like it's got some leather on top of these pants. Ooh, I got a lot of viewers. Hello! Hello everybody who's joining. Here to sit back, relax, and Watch me create some art. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> okay. So I think we've done a decent amount of remixing to this uh, existing model. Now let's go ahead and get a little crazy. Uh, so, first things first, he said two swords. Let's see here. Arms to teeth with two swords. Okay. A war hammer. A whip. Okay. So. Uh, first things first, two swords. Now, that's not going to be very hard. 
I've already made plenty of swords, so I can just grab one off of an existing model and just go from there. So let me just save this guy right here. Let me just... Uh, I'm just going to import um, some short swords. STL. Go to basics, and let me get a short sword. Short sword. Okay, there it is, a short sword. Mm, roughly a gladius type. Well, not really a gladius, more like just a generic short sword. So, center mass. Let's go over here. And let's uh, <clears throat> get rid of unnecessary geometry. Let's uh, go ahead and shrink it down just a smidge. Also, the patron who requested this awesome little guy, Richard Orwin. Richard Orwin. Thank you for your support. You are getting your mini. Okay, so making a mini for Mr. Orwin. Thanks, by the way, Richard, for your support. You're awesome. This model, I could tell, would probably print better on its back, uh, rather than uh, as is. However, if you do have really solid uh, support game going on your printer, then you could probably print this as is and you'll be fine. I would recommend it, but it can be done. I've seen some amazing things done with the Ender 3. Oh, I should probably make sure the chat is working because I've been having issues with uh, Twitch today. So, test, test, test. Just, uh, if anybody could send me a message just to make sure they read that. This Twitch has been very weird today. This morning I went on, like, about a good half hour without realizing that the messaging system wasn't working. It was weird. I'm sure it's fine now. Test, 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 test back. Thank you very much. Yeah, us lurkers are here. <laughs> Nothing wrong with lurking. I do that on Reddit a lot. Anyway, thank you for uh, responding. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay, so that's pretty good, two swords. Uh, he said he had a Warhammer. So, um, so let's go ahead and get a Warhammer then, eh? I just realized this looks really weird. <laughs> what the hell is this, man? Uh, sometimes I wonder, I swear. Okay, so I gotta fix that. For first things first, I gotta fix this. This, this looks weird. I get what I was trying to do. I was trying to make it look like he had a lot of heavy cloth, but it just looks wrong. That's obviously a protrusion of uh, some sort, but it's not really necessary. This looks kind of dumb. Oh, it's always funny running into old works. And you, like, just wonder, like, what was I thinking? <laughs> I made that. This makes no sense. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. We all live and learn. It's not exactly a, you know, muscle hewn type character, so I'm not really worried about it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's not get sucked into the little details like that. All right, so. Kobold Weapon Master saved. Now let me go get a Warhammer. Um, and I know just the guy to get a Warhammer from. So save. File open. Let's go out to the Acquisitions Incorporated crew. Let's go to Mr. Omen Dran. 
let me grab his maul. <laughs> and let me come back to the Cobalt Weapon Master. And let me give this guy a maul. <laughs> Big ass Warhammer. Let's go ahead and shrink that down just a smidge. And then we're going to put this thing on his back. <clears throat> oh, I got a question. going to be honest with the music. I'm... To be honest with the music, I'm getting an awesome Bob Ross as D&D minis here, hoping for happy friends uh, in the weapon. The weapons. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're enjoying the the music. You know, this is uh, I'm definitely going for like a Bob Ross does D&D type feel. So you're absolutely right. That's what I'm going for, and uh, I appreciate you uh, being here today. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this Warhammer on his back, like so, just like that. Uh, what's up, kitty? Oh dear, I think I need to uh, go to the restroom real fast, because it looks like my cats, one of my cats uh, probably dropped a deuce. So I gotta take care of that real fast. <laughs> Sorry. Cats are nasty. Anyway, um, what's this? I see somebody asked this. Lol, this is the same Bob Ross shit. Which model was that Warhammer from? It looks perfect for one of my PCs. Um, <clears throat> this Warhammer came from, uh, uh, Acquisitions Incorporated crew. Uh, this is Omen Drawn's uh, Warhammer <laughs> or Maul, actually. So if you wanna, if you go on a, if you go on Thingiverse and just look up Acquisitions Incorporated, uh, you'll see uh, the, the model. And uh, I remember when I handed that to uh, Jerry last year, he really liked it. Anyway. Uh, so, and then I need a bunch of javelins on this guy. So, let's just say... Hmm. How do you store javelins? That's a good question. I just realized that. I don't, I don't know how people hold javelins. Let me just type in... Uh, adventurer javelin. Images... I mean, do they hold them in like a quiver? Or? Okay. Fighter with javelin. No, not the actual missile. Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna say that he's got a really big quiver. <laughs> like a quiver. Typically a quiver. Yep. Uh, okay. A quiver. Alright, not a big deal. So let me grab this, uh, Spear. I'm gonna turn it into a javelin real fast. So let me just shrink it down a little bit. So I'm gonna shrink this down. That's a pretty decent size for a javelin. <clears throat> let me squeeze down just a little more. Okay. Let's see. Eh, maybe I didn't have to squeeze it down that much. All right, so let's go ahead and well, first let's make a quiver. Obviously, I need a quiver. Uh, how am I gonna make a quiver? Let me think. Hmm, maybe I should go across like this. And then the hammer can. Uh, but the hammer. I realize that actually having all this weaponry is not very practical. But whatever. Looks badass, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. Let's see, maybe if I just if I just position his hammer like that, and then the javelins can just fill up right here, and then he can have a quiver. Okay, <laughs> easy, easy. All right, so let's go ahead and uh oh, yeah. Um, all right, guys, I'm very sorry. I need to take care of some cat business. Um, my cat just dropped the bomb. <laughs> They're not very good with uh, um, covering the litter very well. So, BRB, cat 
cat business. I'll just do the cat face, you know. Anyway. I spelled business wrong. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's just... I will be right back, guys. Let me just take care of this real fast. Uh, do you have schooling in 3D art, or is it self-taught? Oh, I, 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 I went to school a long time ago. Anyway, I'll be right back. Look at me like that, like you're all cute now. You know what you did. <laughs> this is my cat's giving me this look like. What? What's wrong? What? We're cool. What? I didn't do anything. So. <laughs> uh, my cats. Don't get me wrong, I love my cats, but. Man, sometimes I'm telling you. Anyway, alright, let's make a quiver real fast. Um. Uh, a quiver. Uh, let's see. So, um, basically a sack, right? Or not a sack, like, um, I get like a cube that just, you know, make it organic looking. So, subdivide. Let me extrude right here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, thing um but yeah to dc uh Kulth. how do you say that dc holt dc holt uh dc holt yeah um i went uh i did get a degree in 3d art um almost 10 years ago now um but i kind of just let it go i didn't really do anything serious with it and then uh well, you know i just got back into it because of uh, 3D printing and D&D, &D, and I've uh, been just trying to improve ever since then. It's been a really good experience. So yeah, I have some official training, but things didn't really kick off until like I, I started doing a 3D thing. It's been a lot of fun, so thanks for asking. <clears throat> Alright, so that is a very basic quiver, obviously nothing too fancy, since this is a very small model to begin with. So, let's go ahead, set orange into center mass, shrink it down. Mm -mm. So yeah, really basic, basic thing. And don't forget, this is going to be an incredibly tiny model to begin with, so... I could go crazy and, like, do straps and things like that, but it's just... It's really not necessary for something so small. I think the quiver alone is going to be a pretty big detail. Let me bring the hammer down just a little bit. Yeah. Oops. Let's bring it down like right there. Okay. Now, let's bring this quiver in. Rotate just a little bit. That seems about right. And now, let's get some javelins. So, let's go ahead and... Maybe this should be a little bit longer. Alright, we'll go to normals. Go a little bit longer, and let me just bring it down just a little bit more. Angle it just a little bit like that. Okay, that's a little more manageable. All right, let's get this javelin in there. This is actually way too big. <laughs> let me shrink it down just a little bit. There we go. I like this model idea. So this is a good one. It's very simple, but you know, it's it's creative in its own way. So 
let's see here. Alright, I'll make this a little bit smaller. Keep changing the sizes. Alrighty. So, first javelin. Okay. Second javelin. Javelins is probably enough. Huh, nice. So let's see how far I can bring this one inside before it pops out of the and it there it goes. Alright. Nice. Cool. Okay, and then he said he had a I think it was a whip. Was it a whip? Uh, here we go. Uh, buh, 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 buh. where is it? Here we go. A whip and a hand crossbow. Okay, a whip. Cool. Where the hell would I put a whip? <laughs> okay, it's got to be curled up, but it'll go right there. Hell yeah, he's got a strong back. Works out. All right, so I'll put the whip right here. Hand crossbow though. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. All right, so Cobalt Weapon Master. <sighs> Let me go ahead and Let me grab a whip. Now, if I remember correctly, I made a ranger, a female ranger that had a whip. Here she is. Yep, female badass crossbow ranger with a whip. She, yep, there she is. And look at that, it was even on the right side. So let me just grab her real fast. That was a fun model from way, way back. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So put that whip right there. Yeah. Nice. Okay, that's cool. I take it. That worked out better than I expected. Just rotate it just a little bit. Okay. And then let me bring this coil down just enough so that way it looks like it's touching the ground. Last but not least, a hand crossbow. Where the hell am I gonna put a hand crossbow on this guy? I mean, I guess on his back. I mean, a hand crossbow would be like a regular crossbow, right? For someone this tiny. If I put it there. Uh. <laughs> uh then you got your ammunition for your hand crossbow, and where's that gonna go? Ugh. Not practical. Hmm. It sounds like you might be working out of a Macy's. Huh. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it is kind of really chill jazz, but no, no, not working out of Macy's. Just uh, at home playing some nice generic music. Maybe if I put the hand crossbow across his chest, like, like a. You know, like how some more tactical folks do. I could do that. All right, <clears throat> it's gonna be a strap to his chest. Let me go ahead and grab a hand crossbow. <laughs> Just grabbing it for other models. It seems kind of silly. Uh, let's see, female rogue three. Let me grab your crossbow real fast. Open recent. Maybe, maybe on his back, like just slung over, and like he just pulls it out, and grabs it. Yeah, like a shotgun. There you go. It's just when he 
needs it, he just pulls it right out. Just like a like a overhead shotgun. I actually have a a scabber for my shotgun. Obviously, I never use it. So there you go. Okay, now it's gonna be really hard to print this uh, on his back because of all of this stuff. So you know what? This is gonna be one of those. Yeah, you probably should print it as is models. It's not gonna be easy. Ah oh, well. Ah, hmm. uh, I listen to this music. It reminds me of the Penis cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. This is not gonna be easy to print. It's that hand crossbow that kinda like sent it over the edge. Well, maybe the patron has really good support game, you know? I mean I know like if I were to print this, I would print it with my my slot printer, my noble one A, and I know for a fact that it could handle something like this pretty easily. So I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, okay. <clears throat> I think we're good. This is one complicated model. <laughs> uh, but I like it. I like it. It's still pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Let me just uh, make this official first. So, Alrighty, so Kobold Weapon Master. That was easy. Um, uh, let me go ahead and get some lighting and do some quick renders. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I got some... Getting some messages here I need to respond to. Um, sorry, give me a second. Oh, I got a new patron. I have to go send them a message real fast. Yeah, every time I get a new patron, I have to send them an email just saying, Hey, thank you for supporting me. Yeah, here's the link to the Google Drive. So one second, let me just do this real fast. <clears throat> but yeah, this model came out pretty good. Um, let me go ahead and get some lighting in here, and then I will go ahead and post it online as soon as I get a chance. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's get some lighting. Uh, so file, save, file, open, recent, let me, uh, let me grab, uh, lighting from you, you're fine. Okay, grab that lighting, go back to the kobold. Okay, let's see here, go to material, it's probably going to be a little bright, yeah, we'll see, and <laughs> it's kind of a funny model, but I like it, let's see, yeah, that's a pretty good angle, okay, and rendered, let's see how this looks, yeah, I like it. It looks pretty good. Oh, I got a question. Hey, Miguel, do you record your Twitch streams? I love watching, but only get a few minutes here and there. Uh, I do record them, and I will post the three videos I made today uh, on YouTube for sure. I didn't do it last time because the video was too big, and I don't have the stuff needed to edit videos because I'm super amateurish. But... Um, Yes, I will definitely uh, post these online, so don't you worry about that. So, I got you, fam. I got you. Anyway, hope that answers your question. 
right, file, save, file, export, STL, Kobold, Weapon Master, selection all, okay, and there you go. Let me do a quick image real fast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. So let me go ahead and make a screenshot, and I will post this on Twitter uh, soon, and on Patreon and everything else. Let's go to <clears throat> 3D models, uh, miniatures, adventurers, fighter types, other fighters, and then kobold. Ah, can't spell. Weapon master. Okay, so that was fun. Um. All right, so let's go to the next request. Um, I should probably upload this guy on Thingiverse, too. So let me open that up. All right, so the next request is, okay, kobold, arm to the teeth, yada yada. Old West half-orc rifleman. Huh. An Old West half-orc rifleman. Before I start making a brand new model, I need to think if I've already made something like that. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have. I mean, I'm picturing like a guy in a trench coat, you know, classic western style trench coat. And, um, no. I mean, I've made gunslingers. Um, I have made gunslingers, you know dudes like aiming their rifles but well hmm you know I think actually I do have an aiming uh, rifleman gunslinger that might work for this so I, I think that might work anyway let me look at my existing gunslinger models and then I can just make some changes I mean, it's still gonna need some significant work because, like, a half orc's uh, a half orc's build is obviously much thicker than a regular, you know, regular dude. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay. But uh, yeah. All right. Let me see what I can find. Hey, cat. <laughs> oh god, my cat's on my desk. Hey, get off. Get, get, get off of the desk. No, no. Come on, man. I'm trying to do internet stuff here. Alright, there you go. <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> Alright. Sorry about that. Oh, what's this? Nabin says, only three away from mine. Oh, yeah. Nice. What are you? White Abashi, female Furbog, Fingus. I'll need to look that up. Anyway, uh, but yeah, yeah, you'll get there eventually. Okay, so <sighs> let's go ahead and see if I have a model that already has that type of build. And then we'll go from there. Because. If I have to make something from scratch, I will, but if I don't have to, it's, it's something I probably should just do. So, let's see. Let me go to my Gunslinger folder. And let's see. A car Gunslinger, Elf Gunslinger, Elf Gunslinger, male. Two pistols, one pistol. Far Plane Gunslinger. Human Gunslinger, pistol, pistol, pistol. Whatever the fuck that is. Pepper Box. Forge Gunslinger. Mm, let me see. Okay. Huh. Huh. You know. Okay, so, first things first. I would have to increase the size of his upper body, obviously. I would have to do that. But other than that, I mean, I would just need to install the half work head. But. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, it seems kind of silly to not do it this way. Not to obviously give him some mass, but it still require a decent amount of work. But, yeah, this is definitely doable. Alright, that is how I'm going to do this. And, and, I'm going to give him a cowboy hat. Because, duh. Oh, the fur bulk paddling, that was you? Nice. Um, you know, I actually made a bunch of paladin types already. Um, I might actually have a model already that that's what you might want to be looking for. But, well, we'll get there. We'll get there when we get there. <gasps> sorry. <sighs> okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Alright, so... <clears throat> Alright, so since I have one of my patrons actually here, he said Furball Paladin. Uh, just so you know, um, I'm pretty sure I made one already. Uh, if you go to the share drive, go to um, the Cleric's Paladins folder, and yeah, here it is. Furball Cleric Paladin. So there's that one. And then, Furball Cleric Paladin. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually made a uh, Furball Paladin already. Uh, Nabin 13. Um, it's got a Warhammer, I don't know if that works for you, but... But it is actually in the share drive already. Oh, female! Oh, psh, well, never mind. <laughs> okay, that obviously would need a little more work. Um, okay. I mean, this is kind of female, right? I mean, if you ignore the beard and the obvious male facial features, right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Anyway, okay. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. We can. I'll, when I get there, I'll definitely. Uh, I'll make it. I'll, I'll make a female version. That's not gonna be hard at all. So I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, I've made a lot of female paladins in general, so fur bulk features are obviously, you know, bigger. They have distinct facial features, like bigger, not thicker, like ears and such. So, you know, I'll make it work. So, um, since I got your attention, uh, when I do get to that um, character, uh, what kind of weapons uh, does she use? Uh, sword? Hammer? Weapons? Would you like your uh, her to use? I'm kind of curious. Just so I know it ahead of time. <clears throat> Sword and shield. It's on the comments, so you don't need to keep it in your head. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you're definitely right. It's definitely in the comments. Cool. Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. <clears throat> uh, we'll definitely make it happen when I get there. And to computer7412, uh, hey, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. I'm happy that uh, you like my works. I do. So, thank you. lot of patrons here today. It's usually not the case. Usually it's just dudes who want to hear my voice. So that's nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright. <clears throat> well, let me save this first. Save as Half Orc Gunslinger. Half Orc Rifleman. Rifleman. Gunslinger. Uh, okay. Alright. 
All right, let's get a let's put a half orc head on this dude. But first, let me increase the mass of this guy because half orcs are big. They're bigger than normal people. this guy's upper body. Uh, first, let's add some mass. Hey, cat, how's it going? My cat says hi, everybody. Uh-huh. So, let me add some mass of this dude, because half orcs are bigger. And then, let me go ahead and make his upper body a little bit bigger. Or I guess, really, I could just make his lower body bigger and just size up the whole thing. It doesn't matter. It's the same difference. <coughs> shrink his lower body and then work my way from there. Easy peasy. I like this model. It's just a good pose, you know, just a good aiming pose. It's like, when people think of gunslickers, they always think dude with two guns, but it's like... Why not a dude with a rifle aiming with some marksmanship, you know? <clears throat> I remember when I actually made this model, I, like, sat down and got into uh, my rifleman's position, just made sure that I was, I looked like I knew what I was doing. of the net right now, but if anybody could tell me if uh, that decision has been made on the, on the government shutdown, please let me know so I can stay in the know, because right now I'm busy doing art and I'm clueless as to what is going on. trying to be political, obviously, I just, you know, it's literally the reason why I'm doing this is because I can't be at work, so, you know. <clears throat> okay. I saw Garishada has no end in sight, but we'll check. Yeah, that's what I saw too before I started doing this was that there was no there's no changes. It's not really a surprise, but whatever. Thanks, I appreciate it. Let's see. Um. 
Uh, yeah, news sites for me aren't saying anything about a deal or a resolution. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Just have to deal with it, I guess. Thanks for the update. Appreciate it. All right. Um. So this half orc gunslinger. Let me go ahead and get in the sculpt mode. Let me go to inflate. Let me just keep adding a little more mass to this guy. So half orc gunslinger. What do you think? Do you think he's got a gut? I think he has a gut. Not a big gut. Like a healthy gut. Okay, cool. Alright, I think that's enough. Mm, enough uh, messing around. Let's go ahead and put a half orc head on this dude. And then we'll move on to the next guy. Let me thicken these hands too, actually. Need thicker fingers than that. All right, let me grab a half-orc head. File. Safe. Oh wait, hold on, I got more messages coming in. Let me just... <sighs> Sorry, one second. Response a couple of things here. I'm getting okay. All right, back to it. So let me go ahead and grab a half orc head. So save. Let me file open. Go to basics. Let me see. I believe I have a half orc head already. Or not. Maybe it's just an STL. File import STL basics. I swear I had a half orc head already. There we go, half fork head. <clears throat> yeah, there he is. Yeah. Got some hair on him. Pretty basic half fork head. Cool. Hmm. On second thought though, all of that hair seems a little unnecessary given I I actually envisioned like a bald half fork dude with a cowboy hat. Let me not bother with this. Let me grab a different half orc head. So, although at the same time, though, why wouldn't there be hair? Ah. Yeah, whatever. Let me just let me grab a different head then. Okay, file. Uh, let's see. Who had a good bald half orc head? Let me try. Hey, look at that, perfect. Yeah, because like I said, I wanted to put a put a beard on this dude. This guy has a goatee, not a beard. I said I want to put a cowboy hat on this dude. It's got a little bit of a goatee on this dude, but yeah, not wrong with that. And a little bit of uh, hair action. Okay, 
Oh, what's this? I got some questions. What was your most difficult model and why? Hmm, most difficult model. That's a good question. Hmm, most difficult model. I have to get back to you on that. I'm not really sure. I've made a lot of complex things. Hmm. Let me think. Most difficult model. Well, I can't think of most difficult model ever, but I could think of one recently that was a real pain in the ass. And uh, just not because it was complicated, more because it was just, it was so, so tedious. It just took forever. And, uh,. By the way, I just realized that his thigh is too long. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. But anyway, um, the model that I could think of that was just grueling was during my marathon um, <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago. Uh, it was the Wicker Man. This giant gargantuan sized construct of hay and wood and uh, that was a motherfucker that was just a lot of work it was intense <laughs> it was just so much it was just so much detail involved and it just took forever four ever <laughs> to finish and you know, I'm pretty efficient when it comes to my work my work uh, methods and all that stuff but that was intense and, and you know the model came up great and I'm really really happy with uh, you know what I made but oof wouldn't want to do that again <laughs> anyway so yeah that was a cool model, though. I really liked it. So, in the end, obviously, it was worth it. You know, the patron really liked it. Ultimately, that's what matters, right? But, uh, yeah. Definitely the Wicker Man model. That was... That was a, that was a, that was a, that was a grind. <laughs> the Horned Dragon with the Orc Rider definitely took a while, too. But, it wasn't that hard to pull off you know it was a lot of stuff that um, I was used to make working already you know so it was it wasn't that bad it was uh, something that I was kind of like used to you know so I was actually okay with that model okay so look at this guy nice thick neck mesh edges bridge edge loops Smooth vertex. And then. Uh, Alright, not bad. Go in there, just give him a little bit of definition of his neck. <coughs> the wrong one. Truly not as Okay, so now the last thing that this guy needs is a cowboy hat, because, I'm sorry, this is going to be a rifle, a rifle, uh, gunslinger, he needs a cowboy hat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's against the law to not have a cowboy hat, so we need to take care of that right now. 
So, let me go ahead and do that. So, file, save. Let me grab a cowboy hat. I'm pretty sure any of these guys has a cowboy hat. Uh, of course you don't have a cowboy hat. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and plop a cowboy hat on this Bella. Right there. This guy needs to be a little bit bigger. I just realized that. Okay. Because he is a half orc. He's a big dude. There we go. Alright. Let's put a cowboy hat on this dude. It's high noon, partner. I can tell you right now, you're on the wrong side of Faerun, buddy. You need to just mosey on out of here. This isn't your normal run-of-the-mill axe wheels and half work, sir. No, sir. Nope. This is my neck of the woods you're dealing with there, buddy. Oh, you want to know my name? Name's... DeGraw. Striker DeGraw. And I'm here to bring the pain. made a new NPC. Alright. I like it. Although, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this this rifle should have a scope. Quick draw McGee is what they call me. reason why they call me that is because I'm an artist and I can draw very quickly. Look at this. See, I just drew that. I'm talented. Wait, you thought it was because I was a fast gunslinger or something? I'm using a rifle for Pete's sake. Think about that. This scope isn't too big. Let me just squeeze it down just a smidge. And then we can move on.
can always go with Paladins. That's what I always play. Or, that's what I always want to play. Never really get a chance to. Clerics are pretty dope. I always like clerics. <sighs> Maybe this uh, barrel end is a little too wide. Too much of a blunderbuss look going on there. So let me just make it look like actually like, you know, a little more standardized. And then I think we'll call it right around there. Okay, there you go. And that is the half-orc uh, rifleman. Aiming and looking like a badass. I like it. I like it a lot. That came out really good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Let me just fix this one line right here. It's kind of bugging me a little bit. Ah... Uh, Okay. Okay, this came out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this one. Uh, oh, crap. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta respond to something again. second I'm just responding to something I on my phone I need to respond to real fast this will take like another maybe 30 seconds tops Save this file. File, save. So let me go ahead and export this file. Export.stl. Half work rifle and gunslinger. Export. Before I go ahead and post this online, though, I really do need to run it through, uh, I need to run this through, um, Windows 3D Builder, because I need to make sure that the file actually is safe for printing. So, let me go ahead and take care of that real fast. So, miniatures, adventurers, first let me do the kobold dude, let me do him real fast. Nope. God damn it. Sorry. Uh, load object. Kobold. There he is. Import. 
Yep, there's some errors, so we'll take care of that for me real fast. <clears throat> repairing, 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 repairing. Repairing. Okay. And that is that. So let's save that, and then save. Half orc rifleman gunman imports and fix the errors. Yeah, I like this model. It's getting pretty good. It's high noon. Okay. Let's save. Cool. Alrighty. So. Sucker. Cool. It's right now, that's not gonna work. Come on. Here we go. Let me add some light. Oh, file, save. Let me just get some lighting real fast. Copy, file, open recent, paste, okie dokie. I'll switch this light over here, put this over here. Maybe, right there. It's high noon, partner. Just a little bit, just so you can see his eyes a little better. But not by much. Just like right there. And let's do that again. There we go. Perfect. Alright. And that is a motherfucking half orc rifleman uh, aiming at some bad guy from far away. So there you go. I'm pretty happy. Came out pretty good. Let me just make a shot. And uh, there you go. Save as half orc. <clears throat> okay. Half orc rifleman gunslinger. Ah! Uh, uh, and that was fun. And it is almost 5 o'clock, so I said I was going to do a 9 to 5 thing, and well, here we are. So this will be my last model uh, for now, um, but uh, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow starting at 9 o'clock, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to what I was doing. Um, tomorrow, my plan is to... Uh, respond to another patron model, then go do a personal project, patron model, personal project, basically going back and forth, so that way I can cover grounds on things that I was going to do and things that I should do. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, the next model that I'm going to start the day with is going to be a half Old West, half a Griffman. 
White Abashi from Board and Kaiden's Tomb of Foes. Oh, cool. Yeah, all right. I love that book. There's so many good models in there. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. So that is what I will work on tomorrow. Um, okay, so it's about time to go ahead and uh, upload these files. So let me go ahead and do that. But while I'm uploading, uh, does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any um, anything they'd like to ask me? Anything they'd like to um, discuss? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, you know, I probably should just put these on. Hmm. Let me see. All right, let me go to my stuff, my things. Go to the fighter collection, and I'll just put that up there. Put this in Google Drive too. Also, these models are definitely um, the ones that I made just now. They are not like anybody's intellectual property so I think it's pretty safe to say that I can if you want to sell these yourself um, the kobold dude or the the half orc dude you're more than welcome to so I'm putting this in my commercial drive so just keep that in mind for anybody that wants to use a commercial drive but uh, yeah, if anybody has any questions, comments, go ahead and uh, send them while I'm doing this administrative stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, so let's see your kobold weapon master. Let's so put him inside other fighters. And then... Half-orc riflemen. Okay, that will go in. Gunslingers. Oh, here's a question. Uh, what's the thumbnail for your home game right now? What's the thumbnail for your home game right now? Um, the thumbnail. I don't know. Oh wait, that's not that's not that's not a question for me. <laughs> You guys are talking about game stuff. Cool, cool, whatever. It's all good. Uh, anyway, uh, let me go to my regular share drive. And let me put these files in there, too. So, Kobold Fighter. Goes into fighter types. Let's see here. Uh, the elevator pitch. No, actually, that was... Oh, really? Oh, okay. For my home game right now? Um... Sure, give me a second, let me think. Uh, my home game. Okay. Alright, I got it. <clears throat> In a world where a young man by the name of Huey Suki Sato tries to find out the meaning of life by kicking butt and taking names, it's the adventure of a lifetime with Huey Suki Sato and his crew as they travel the worlds of the multiverse trying to find the meaning of life while also finding each other. In a world of action, adventure, dragons, dungeons, and mind flayers, Huey Suki Sato the human monk is ready to kick butt. Join us in D and D: The Adventures of Yui Suki Sato. So that's that's my elevator pitch for my game. <laughs> I hope that uh, that answered your question. And if it didn't, then I don't know what to tell you. <coughs> <coughs> That actually hurt my throat a little bit. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. 
well, that was ridiculous. Anyway, um... <clears throat> <sighs> yeah, exactly. I'm a, I'm the PC, a PC in that, in that game. But um, I do DM in another game. That's a little more complicated, though. <clears throat> anyway, all right. I think that is that. <clears throat> Next time I do my movie preview voice, I need to. Um, you know, <clears throat> not get that extreme. <clears throat> so, <laughs> does anybody have any other questions? Because <laughs> if not, <sighs> I think we're gonna probably call it a day right here. Hey. <clears throat> <sighs> Oh, that was ridiculous. You guys are crazy. <clears throat> Let me do this skit right here. <clears throat> But uh, I am the DM in a different game. That game is a little more complicated, though. Um, the adventurers are helping a vampire queen regain her throne, <clears throat> and it's a uh, it's a complicated story to say the least. Sorry about losing my voice there. The movie preview voice is uh, a little extreme. So this guy's done. <clears throat> and this guy should be done. Oh, come on, hurry up. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see here. Could practice next session by having you mock decide to talk in third person. <laughs> ah, I love that show. The Last Airbender. So good. <clears throat> They're making a new one now. A live action one. I'm pretty excited about that. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but probably it's going to be better than the M. Night Shaman Lama 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 one. <clears throat> that movie was awful. Somebody actually asked me, uh, 
now that I have to do this as a job until the government shutdown comes in, they, they actually asked me, uh, that I should, that, or not asked me, they recommended that I start selling my files. Like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, the whole point of this is to give free files, and if people want to give me money, like, I can do the Patreon thing or not, it's like, it's not the point. The point is to make the files so that everybody can enjoy it, so it's like, the idea of selling my files, like, screw that. It's just not what I'm about. <clears throat> Also, what kind of a fuck you would that be of, like, after four years of doing this, all of a sudden, oh, I'm just gonna start charging people now. Beep, 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 beep. Like, no. Fuck that. <clears throat> anyway. Alright, I think we are good. Um, I'm gonna post these things on Twitter now, and on my Patreon as well. So, that is that. That was my first, uh, government shutdown, uh, stream. Hopefully soon I can go back to work, but until then, I'm gonna treat my 3D stuff like if it was a full-time job and just, you know, do a 9-to-5 thing. So, <clears throat> thanks everybody for showing up. Um, I'm gonna type that too. Thanks everyone. I'm heading out. But uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate your support and your kind words. Um, I'm going to do this same time tomorrow. I'll start at 9 o'clock. And I'll uh, do a patron request. Then I'll pull away, paint something that I want to paint. Then go back to a patron request, etc., etc. If I can do two, three models uh, in a day, um, then that will, that will be a good thing. We'll see. Anyway, <clears throat> thanks everybody. I'm going to log off now. So I will see you tomorrow. And uh, I will post these on YouTube as well if anybody missed anything. And uh, there you go. All right. Have a good night. And I will see you around. The kobold isn't in the drive. On the drive, really? I thought it was. Hold on. I'm not, I'm not leaving yet. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, Ranger, adventurers fighter types other other fighters where is it uh, nice. here we go uh, where is it oh you're right yeah I'm sorry oops oops a doodle my bad let me go do that right now kobold weapon master and in you go <clears throat> sorry about that Thank you, uh, Icy Labor. Thank you, Icy Labor. Uh, that that would have sucked. <laughs> anyway, all right, it's in there now, and obviously the file's gonna be in there too. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying something. Oh yeah. So anyway, thanks guys for tuning in, and tomorrow will be another day, and uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty, I will see you guys later. Y'all have a good evening, and I'll see you later. Uh, that's it. Bye. Bye-bye. You're welcome.